I'm Jeff. And I'm Will from the Big Gay Fiction Podcast. We wanted to take just a few minutes to talk about some GRL tips as we all head out to Denver this week. Uh, what would you say your number one tip is? Well, you and I have been to uh, almost uh, almost every GRL. We missed the first year in New Orleans, but we've been to every single one ever since. Mm -hmm. um, and my experience has always been positive, despite sometimes my initial trepidation about traveling and going to a strange place and meeting new people. That can be kind of weird and stressful. Um, but I have absolutely loved and adored every GRL we've ever been to. Yeah, 100% agree. It's always the best time. And when it's time, as the brunch ends on Sunday, you're like, oh. I know. It's like, oh, it's over. <laughs> it's already over. <laughs> Which I think is now why we always stay until Monday. So, A, we don't have to bug out early. Yeah. And two, we can kind of extend those feelings with the people who are also staying until Monday. Mm -hmm. So whether you're old hats like us at the whole GRL game, or whether this is your very first uh, visit to GRL, here are some tips and tricks to help you get through the event. Um, whether you have been to a large convention before or whether this is your very first one. Yeah, absolutely. Um, I think GRL, in the grand scheme of things, is a pretty intimate event. Uh, this past year, for the very first time, we went to uh, quite possibly the world's largest romance convention, for fans specifically. Uh, we went to the Romantic Times convention. Uh, it was held in Atlanta this year. Um, I was a little stressed out about that because I knew ahead of time it was the biggest event in the U.S. And I have never personally been to a convention of that size before. Um, we went, we saw, we experienced it, and... Despite my uh, initial fears, uh, I had a fantastic time. Mm -hmm. I did too. I've been to, back in my college days, sci-fi cons that were that big. Mm -hmm. uh, but I had my own trepidations about RT because we were we were there in a podcast capacity and we had our 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 workshop to deliver and whatnot, and there were a lot of people, but. I had a great time mm -hmm. and would love to go again one year. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So, uh, Gay Romlet is certainly smaller than the Romantic Times convention, but it is the largest uh, gay specific uh, literature event here in the United States. Um, so, my first tip is uh, a travel tip. Uh, I don't know about you, but I tend to get super dehydrated and cranky whenever I fly or uh, travel to someplace new. Uh, whether it's just a super quick hour-long flight or if you're flying all the way across the country, um, that recycled airplane air can really play havoc with yeah. your, you know... And, and recycled hotel air, too. A exactly. So, uh, while you're traveling, always drink water. Uh, a drink more than you think you need. Mm -hmm. uh, you'll you'll thank yourself later. I swear to God, you really, really will. And um, also uh, remember to keep drinking water while you're at the hotel. Um, most uh, hotels have a uh, uh, air conditioned. Um, uh, I'm trying to think of a big fancy word. Uh, HVAC kind of a th uh, yeah. A it thing. just recycles everywhere and yeah. So uh, while you may not feel, you know, cold or warm, you may f feel perfectly pleasant, uh, that air is uh, particularly dry. Uh, in 99% of the cases, if you are in a hotel or a conference room, uh, you're going to dry it out super fast. So always have a bottle of water f with you and uh, stay hydrated. Yeah, typically the hotels either have the iced down water that sits in the back of all the yeah, panel those, rooms that always or helps. the water fountains by the restrooms. Mm -hmm. I think for many of us as well with Denver being so high, it is the mile high city. Yeah. For most of us, we're going to feel the effects. Feel the effects of being higher and yeah. hydration will help a mitigate lot. at least some of that. It'll help a whole lot. So it's you'll so see us walking around <laughs> with a water bottle either in hand or in our bag. Mm -hmm. So yeah, hydrate. It's important. Always stay hydrated. Okay. Uh, I think m one of my things people I've seen in the Facebook group mm -hmm. uh, are always a little trepidatious of joining in 
to a discussion that's in progress or joining a group that might be hanging out in the lobby or or approaching your favorite author or whatever. Many of us are introverts at this event, and I think all of us get that we're all introverts, introverts at these events. Um, but do your best to step up and say your hellos or introduce yourself, because I assure you that everybody at GRL will go, oh my god, hi, it's great to meet you, and you'll be welcomed right into whatever circle you're wanting to approach. Um, nobody bites at GRL. And if they do, just, you know, accept that they're having their own personal introvert <laughs> moment and move on from there, because generally those are also not meant as a, as a true slight or anything. Everybody's got their own introvert thing going on here. And, uh, but really, you know, try to step out a little bit and, and join in and odds are once you get past it the first time, you'll be able to just go from there and have a wonderful time. Mm -hmm. And sort of riffing off of that idea, I know, um, the advice to, uh, join in and get out there and, uh, uh you know, put yourself out there. Woo that kind of advice is sort of counterintuitive to uh, how most of us uh, deal with uh, an event or groups of a large size. Um, so my advice would be to know thyself and practice self-care. I mean, no one knows you better than, of course, you. Um, so if you're having a difficult time being in a large group or you're feeling particularly anxious or stressed out, uh, step back. That's perfectly all right. Um, that's not a problem. You can go back to your room uh, for a few minutes or uh, sit out a panel or two and uh, get some rest. That's perfectly fine. Um, so uh, practicing self-care uh, is also a key to enjoying these kinds mm -hmm. of events. And it, it, it kind of the opposite of my join in and, and really going with self-care is if if you are having a moment away from a crowd and somebody approaches you... Just say, I, I just need a minute, mm -hmm. and I'll be back. You That's don't, perfectly fine. Don't hesitate to give up your self-care moment <laughs> in favor of making someone else happy. Because mm -hmm. um, keeping care of yourself first is important. Because it's also really just easy to wear out, and then you get sick at these at the after events. Yeah. So, um, I also think uh, to sort of piggyback off of that idea as well, um, if you've gone to the trouble and expense to get to Denver and experience this event, um, truly try and experience it. I know that's um, hard for first-timers to really uh, wrap your head around uh, in, you know, sort of connecting to, like, putting yourself out there. Um, but uh, there are a lot of really wonderful things to do and a lot of wonderful people to meet uh, and we're all there because we love the same thing. Uh, this is this is your tribe. <laughs> so it, if you do, you know, put yourself out there just a little bit, uh, I think you'll find yourself having uh, a lot of fun. Uh, yeah, absolutely. Yeah. And I think piggybacking off that, because that's exactly <laughs> what we're just keep doing here. Uh, don't stress. You're going to find many times, I think, where you're going to want to do you know, go see T.J. Clune, but also there's other things happening over here. You can't, you can't do it all. And you don't need to push yourself to try and do it all. Mm -hmm. um, pick what you want to do and go do it. Pick your favorite thing and do that. But leave yourself open, too, to the on-the-fly things that can occasionally happen. I've missed whole panels because I'm talking to somebody yes. in the hallway somewhere. Yeah. And... That engagement might have been better than the panel. Mm -hmm. I might have missed the panel. It's like, mm, okay, I missed it. But don't beat yourself up over what you miss because the weekend is so jam-packed and there are the parallel tracks that you can't get everywhere. And you're also going to need those self-care moments where you're like, I really want to go to that, but I really want to go lay down. And by going to lay down, then you're better off. You, you, you'll be better longer in the day than if you didn't take that moment. One of my most favorite things about GRL are the unexpected moments. 
Um, yes, all the programming is really super awesome, but there are things that you can't schedule uh, and things that just sort of uh, happen organically, whether it's yeah. meeting a new group of friends or having a talk with an author while you're standing in line at, you know, one of the parties, one of the nights, you know, there are things that you can't plan for. Uh, and that just sort of happened. Those are always my favorite things yeah, I mean, and what I look back on most fondly. If you look at what we talked about in the main show this week, that my Codename Winger series was born mm-hmm. out of GRL Chicago, that happened because Will and I happened to walk out of a party to take a picture at some thing that was outside that ballroom. We saw Z.A. Maxfield who was taking a moment away from the party, sitting at the fire pit. We love her. We went over to have a chat. We organically got talking about creating series and how to manage a career and how she'd done it. And then Claire London came over. And somehow I had the seed for Winger. And if that conversation hadn't happened, that book may not be coming out this week. Mm -hmm. And that was totally on the fly. Mm -hmm. We never went back to that party because we stayed out there and talked for like an hour. <laughs> we talked for quite a while. Yeah. So you got to leave yourself open to the unexpected. Uh-huh. Exactly. Yeah. Exactly. Any other tips and tricks? Um, go have fun. Yeah. Yeah. There's a lot of things to do. And, and whether you're an introvert, introvert and a little bit shy or whether you like to get your groove on and party all night long uh there is stuff for everybody to do at gay rom lit yeah absolutely and we hope to see you there mm-hmm.